Today we have a what 2019? 2019 yep, Dodge Daytona RT. RT. Thank you to Jeff Weiler, Dodge Chrysler Jeep yep, Ram, Ram, right? Yep. Okay. So we just actually did a launch control and I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with the way this vehicle took off. I mean, yeah, it still had some skidding, but it grabbed and went. Yep. So I uh, you know to be honest. This will be a very interesting car to buy. Oh yeah, like I mean, the, the, the price is only forty three thousand dollars from Jeff Weiler, and I mean it's like this. Okay, first of all, let's just take a second and just listen to this. All right. Like oh my god. <laughs> like do you not like it's old school muscle and a four door sedan. Like, and it's got the again. newer and it's got the newer transmission, <laughs> so it's got a dual disc clutch di uh, eight -speed, transmission. Eight -speed transmission. Yes, and it's an eight speed. Mm -hmm. and and you can hear there's Ethan too. Speaking of which, shout out to Ethan, which he's about to pass right now. It says there's a cop going right by us. But Ethan is right here, literally about to pass us coming the opposite way in the black Mustang. So shout out to Ethan too. I'm sorry. But uh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say hi to Ethan. <laughs> Mustang is something. <laughs> back to so back to this vehicle. So being a forty-three thousand dollar car, I mean, who are the competitors? Being a Charger, you got yeah, like the stuff like you have obviously the higher end cars like you know Audi, Mercedes, like this. But at, at the same time, you also do have like the Chevy SS. That's a that, okay. Is. Chevy SS. Wait, wait, hold on. The Chevy SS. You talking about the new one? No, I'm well, old. New, they don't make them anymore now. They don't but make them anymore, they, but the, the newest show, yeah, one that came out. Yeah, and also the Ford Tourist Show. Right. Yeah. But that would be sixes. This, this, if you want a real American Hemi, <laughs> this is what to get. Oh my God. <laughs> you get that old school run where you get that 400, that almost 400 horsepower, little makes no difference, 400 horsepower, 390 pounds to the torque, 500. I mean, well, this is actually what? No, this is what, 376 horsepower? That, yeah, to the crank. To the crank. So I just run it up. So like it's it's literally like it's you get that like that smile on your face whenever you hop in and start up for the first time you just drive it. Oh yeah. Now imagine if you put aftermarket, you know, an yep. aftermarket exhaust, you put headers on it, and you do a little bit of tweaking to the yep. engine. Imagine yeah. what this thing could do. Oh yeah. Without you know? Put some slicks on it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I even what to think now. <laughs> now people people are running these exact cars, putting slicks on it, doing a little bit of engine upgrades and running 11s all day at the quarter in the quarter mile of the track. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, that's that's crazy. It's still pretty that's still pretty good numbers. For a four door for a four door sedan, and not only it's not the Hellcat. Mm -hmm. It's yep. not you're not paying the seventy, eighty thousand dollar price tag. Yeah. And you get something somewhat similar. Like you're not gonna get the full experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not gonna get that supercharger wine. You're not gonna get, you know, that that hellacious pullback on you where oh, it's yeah. keeping you glued to the seat. Where you know they do a dollar bill trick on the dashboard. Mm -hmm. They don't do that. So, but I mean, it's still a good car, especially for for what it is. For what it is. Yeah. That's a good way to say. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So with this being the new Daytona, and obviously you're not paying the price for the Hellcat. How do you think it stands up with the competitors? You know. Because I, I know I asked this earlier, the competitors itself, yeah. but how do you think it stands against them? You know what I mean? Honestly, like it's, to me at least, I would choose this. Uh, well, to be honest with you, I'm a Chevy guy, so I, I also drove the, the Chevy SS. So it would be a toss up between this and the Chevy SS. The Ford Tourist, I don't like at all because it's, I don't, I don't like, you know I don't like V6s at all. Right. So I wouldn't buy that. Just the Ford Tour Show, I mean, that's what they're saying. It's a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Yeah. And even though the EcoBoost is um, fairly quick, yeah. you know. But there's no like, drama to it. But there's no drama to it. I, Again, I like drama. <laughs> yes. I mean, with the Ford Tour Show, I honestly, every time I see a Ford Tour, I think of an. A cop. Older, no. <laughs> elderly cu couple. Like, I mean, a cop. like old people. <laughs> Sure, I mean you see four door shows as yeah. cops, but still like it's just like it's like old people drive them It's like the Ford Explorers. Yeah old people drive them or cops drive them because yeah. they want to freak people out because they think it's a cop Yeah, like I hate you guys <laughs> <laughs> And then there's those uh, 
not just the Ford Explorers, but the um, the Chevy Impala. Yeah, well, see, but the, the, the Impala, Impala isn't, really, isn't really isn't really a, a competitor to this because that's just a straight V. That, yeah, there's no like no performance features to that car whatsoever. Yeah. So I wouldn't really call it an Impala a competitor to this. However, no, like we're, we're just talking about cop cars. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if if I had so like talking more about this though. Yeah, let's well, yeah. Let's, so <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying with the competitors. So again, now we'll kind of keep it in Mopar this time. Mm -hmm. With Mopar, I mean, you got the Challenger. Yeah. You got this. 300 also. You got the 300. The Trackhawk. The, the Trackhawk. You got those, you know, certain groups. Now, I'm, like, we got the Daytona RT, and that's uh, similar to that is the Challenger Daytona, right? Or the Challenger. There's, the, yeah, there, there, there's a Challenger no, RT, right? Yeah. It's the Challenger RT Scat Pack. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Scat, no. Because the Scat Pack is a whole different motor, a whole different breed of animal. This. Basically, the so it's more the RT. Yeah, this is a straight RT. Basically. Straight Challenger RT. Yep. Okay, so obviously you guys can tell I'm not a muscle car guy, or I'm not American muscle. Um, I like my European and I like <laughs> my Japanese uh, Evos. So whenever I get you know talk about muscle cars, sorry if I offend anyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, so the Challenger RT, you got that. You got the Chrysler 300, and um. So wait, hold on, question. Three hundred, the three hundred. It comes in what the three hundred C, yeah. the three hundred C SRT eight, right? Well, it, it's not really a C F. It's just a three hundred SRT eight. There's a three hundred S, which is a V six, but it has basically uh, all the creature comforts in it. And then there's a three hundred C, and that's basically what this is, but in a Dodge car. And there's a three hundred SRT eight, and that's the you know the six point four liter, um, four hundred seventy horsepower V eight. And then there's mm. no there's no Hellcat. Yeah, of it, but I've heard rumors of there being a Hellcat 300 coming out pretty soon. So I really want to see that. I'll be a big luxury, a big luxury boat with 707 horsepower in a Chrysler body. Like hmm. that. Would... <laughs> what do you guys have to say about that? <laughs> I'm excited for that. I would... That's <laughs> interesting. I mean, this is almost like because the Challenger, the Charger is smaller than the 300. Right? The Challenger? No, the Charger. No, it's, it's on the same like, platform or anything. It's exactly so it's the same size? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I thought they were smaller in a sense. No. Okay. Um, so with that car coming out, so this is the 300C competitor. Yeah. Okay. So you got the, cha the Challenger. The same car, really. Right. So you got the Challenger, uh, Challenger RT, you got the 300C, and then you got this. Yep. Which would you honestly think? Yes. Wow. <laughs> is it, it, Not even the Challenger RT? No, well, see, I can I can fit more people in the back. If I had a family, I would buy this all day long. Because, like, and plus to me, this looks a little bit better. Just because of the updated headlights and everything else. I mean, I like the Challenger, yes. Yeah. But talking, I guess, more about this, too, it's just, it it fits more people. And to me, it's a little, it's slightly more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's bigger interior-wise than the Challenger, at least in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, and again, you also have the back seats, which there's a lot of room back there. Even with me sitting like, sitting like this, there's still a lot of room behind me, too. Right, right, so, right. So, like I said, comparing to all of that, I would choose this. Now, if I was, if I didn't have a fit, if I don't have a family, if, if I would, would never have a family, I would have to do the, the Hellcat Challenger. Right, of course. I mean, shoot, if I had the money, I'd buy a Charger or Hellcat, and if I had a family. Yeah. I mean, that's a four-door, and it's a Hellcat, and you get the best of both worlds of having a family and, um, being able to, you know, enjoy the speed. We got something about this versus the other cars yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, it's for driving um, it under any other car right now. Yeah. So like going back to like talking about handling now, like it actually for a big boat, literally, like it handles over the bump, it handles corners actually like very well. Like it's honestly not as floaty as what you would think it would be huh. for being such a big car. Yeah, because I honestly don't feel it. It's got like a stiffer suspension. Yeah. I can feel it pretty much in my seat. Yeah. That it's it's got more of a rigid uh, body structure than it does a floating style. Yeah. Because you know the 300 C's got like what an air it's suspension. More, yeah. Well, so no, it's, not, it's not an air suspension. It's more just on the rig. It's, it's like my Volvo on the the, the, the Oh, academic. Yeah. Okay, so you got that. So it's not like that. It doesn't float around. I think it, it obviously gives the very sporty feeling yeah, for being a four door. Uh, where if you were to basically go around corners, you could tackle it. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, and you, you actually have confidence around corners with this car. Like, again, like for being such a heavy, it's a heavy car. There's, there's no getting around that. 
And I know there's been like a lot of like, you know, backlash regarding, you know, the Challenger and Charger being too heavy for its own good. Right, right, right. But again, to me at least, Dodge has stuck to the roots in all their cars. Like the, the Charger and Challenger, it still has that muscle car feeling that, yeah. that's like that old school, like, I'm gonna shred your face off no matter what. <laughs> Compared yeah. to the, the new Camaros, mostly because those two are just more of like the sports cars now versus actual yeah. muscle cars. So, and that's why I prefer the, that's why I prefer you know the Charger and Challenger over you know some other certain the new age muscle cars basically. Right, 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 right. So there's that too. Yeah. Oh, he's about to do another pull. Oh, okay. Is that a cup right there? I don't think so. I think it's just okay, a Cadillac Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Wait, why not? This okay. is Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jeez. god. And you're pushing at least 390 pounds of torque. Oh yeah. We That's insane. It yeah, like, literally glues you to your seat. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing where this car used to be back in, you know, the, the early 2000s. Yeah. It's a whole different car, literally. Oh yeah. I mean, see, Again, like looking at, you know, when the, when the Charger first came back out, it was boaty, it was built horribly, there was like no features to it whatsoever, it was, it was basically like a, an over, an under-engineered Mercedes, because it, it literally rode on the old, or the old E-Class chassis. Yeah. So, it was a little crappy, not gonna lie. Yeah. But like looking at this new model and seeing where it, you know, where it came from to where it is now, I mean, quality-wise, it's a whole different story. I mean, it's, it's. It, there's leather wrap steering wheel, leather everywhere. This brushed aluminum on the dashboard up here. I was gonna bring that up. Yep. This is a, it's actually kind of a weird brushed yeah. aluminum. Like if you feel it, it's it's almost like you ever feel what's that? Like, you know when you play with the little oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like you know, the, it makes it feel like scratchy. Thing. Yeah. So it's got like almost like a scratchy substance, mm -hmm. but also like like this brushed. Um, Kind of like beat up brushed look. Yeah. And it actually looks good. Old school, yeah. Old school, but yep. it looks good. Like it goes all the way around the dashboard. Yep. I should I think they should have integrated this into the door sill. Yeah. Because which, the doors are just straight up leather. Which and, I'm sure you can always option out. Because again, this is like it's not really top the op I guess top option, but it's not like a, the base model either. So I'm right. sure you can you know option that out too. Right. I mean, like I said, I mean, how much is it? Forty-five thousand yeah. for this vehicle. Mm -hmm. You're getting, you're getting a decent amount for the forty-five thousand. Oh yeah. You know. Um, another Daytona. Yeah, it's a blue one. Another blue Daytona. <laughs> and what's on top of it too? What I love about the well, you know, charging and everything else is that like everybody that sees you in it, everybody that has one. They gave you that like that old school like that nod up, that nod up in the around. head, yeah. And it's like it's like a family. Just like just like the yeah, the daddy or what? It's like a family. I yeah. love that. They like all Jeep, yeah. Jeep owners have that little yep. thing. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's a very interesting vehicle. I think Dodge is definitely up their game. Yeah, without a doubt. But yeah, guys, so uh, I want to end this video right here, but, but uh, I also want to give a shout out to each and every one of you guys, especially the Jeff Wyler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. And again, Dangerous Boy, I'm sorry, but we, you have about another week or so to message the reply, respond back to us, or else we will unfortunately have to choose a new winner. Um, and like I said, thank you guys for watching today's video, and we look forward to seeing you guys soon. And before we end this video, I just want to do one little thing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this Honda Civic guy thinks we're freaking insane. Because we just got right on his butt. <laughs> Alright, thanks yeah, guys. guys. We appreciate you guys watching our channel. We yep. love you guys. Yep. Uh, from the bottom of our hearts. And please, if you have any friends, let them know. Hey, share the group. You know, yep. become, you know, let them. Make our family bigger. Exactly. Yep. That's the one I was looking for. And also, remember, so, guys, our 150 subscriber like giveaway, which is, is which is to all each and every one of you guys. So, like I said, once we get 150 subscribers, we're going to do the Hocking Hills, um, the Hocking Cruise, Hills, yeah, Hocking cruise, cruise and picnic. And picnic. Yep. So, yep. Like I said, be sure to be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And we'll see you guys later. Peace.